First, the good. Ancient Roman city builder Citadellum certainly has some fun ideas. It refreshingly explores a lesser tread period of Roman history, the immediate aftermath of Caesar's senatorial assassination and the chaotic power vacuum that followed. As Gaius Octavius, Caesar's adopted son, returns to Rome to enact his dead father's revenge. Now, will you get to do any of that in Citadellum? No. But we'll unpack that problem in a minute. Second, Citadelum injects an otherwise by the book ancient civilization builder with a touch of the divine in a really fun way. Jupiter, Neptune, Mars, Apollo, all the major Roman deity equivalents party atop their pantheon as you toil away far below. But as you toil, keep an eye on each god's favor meter. Max it out by honoring a god at their temple or devoting relics you find during your explorations to them, and they'll hop off their celestial perch to shower your settlement with a god specific boon. However, let the favor meter dip into the red and you might find yourself with a very pissed off Jupiter on your hands. First time this happened to me, he blew up a school and then a hospital. And finally, Citadelum sports a no-frills combat simulator that, while far from perfect, is more entertaining than I'm used to seeing in City Builders, and it adds a healthy dose of violence to the otherwise methodical act of economy management. Now, at this point, if you're thinking to yourself, uh-oh, we're only a minute in and he's already transitioning from the good, buckle up, because the remainder of Citadelum ranges from okay to oh my goodness, what year is it? Speaking of, the visuals. Ooh. Citadelum's color palette comes in dull shades of brown and green. The foliage looks stiff and copy-pasted. Buildings are virtually indistinguishable, making it hard as heck to navigate your city. There's no day-night cycle, and the only weather effect is cloud. And water is just really sparkly to an almost distracting degree. Zoom in a little closer, and you'll see that the complexity of citizen animations in Citadelum is a downgrade from the developer's prior work in one military camp. Which is a shame, because the exposable building layout effect in Citadelum is pretty cool and had potential to give us a fun peek into everyday Roman life. Oh, and did I mention the gods look like they were rendered in Unreal Engine 2? But even if Citadelum looks like a 10 year old turd, I'd still recommend it to fans of the genre if I found the gameplay compelling. Alas, herein lies Citadelum's greatest failing, in that it sets itself during one of if not the most compelling era in ancient human history and then refuses to let you do anything fun with it. Instead of, for example, building up an economy and then marshalling Octavius' forces to conquer his way to the Senate, each mission instead starts you off with a short text-based history lesson and then gives you a detached list of objectives like level up 5 houses or send 150 silk back to Rome. Each subsequent mission, if you can call them that, then just gives you a slightly harder set of objectives and fewer starting resources. And so, Citadelum's core gameplay loop remains almost identical throughout. You'll plop down your forum, build some mines and lumber mills that never expire by the way, sow some fields, build more houses, allocate workers to and from positions as needed, tear up your city and build the unlocked buildings, and then begin prioritizing whatever it is the objectives list wants this time. Meanwhile, you'll be clicking scouts through a tedious exploration minigame before they inevitably stumble upon and are killed by an enemy legion, and depending on the mission you might then have to rally troops and then kill your way through said enemy legion, as they're blocking the neighbor city with the resource you need to trade for in order to, you guessed it, complete one of those arbitrary objectives from earlier. And yet, I think I've somehow saved the absolute worst for last. Because through some strange series of design decisions, Citadelum seems to have cut out what could have been its most redeeming feature. You know, the coolest part of ancient Rome. I was shocked last month after having followed Citadelum's development all year to get a new game announcement email from the publisher saying that Gladiators of Citadelum would come out in 2024 right after Citadelum as a standalone game. I don't know what the f happened here, but gladiatorial management is a fun idea that should have definitely just been part of the Citadel and base game, or at the very least a DLC update down the road. In conclusion, Citadelum disappointed me. It has a few fun ideas, but it fails to leverage them into a compelling and replayable overall experience. I've yet to see a price announcement, but I wouldn't recommend this game for anything north of 15 USD. So I'm sadly giving Citadelum a rough aggregate mega score of 2.22 out of 5. But as always, I'm more than happy to answer any questions you have about the game or my review. Until next time, this is Scope, and thanks for watching.